Hello, my name is Sergio Sullivan, and welcome to Iron Giant Fishing. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Iron Giant Fishing here, and today I'm bringing you the ULT Challenge, or short for Ultra Light Tackle Challenge. And this is something that I haven't done before. It's something that's actually really intriguing to me. You see it a lot with freshwater fishermen, but I'm a saltwater fisherman, so the fish around me usually are <laughs> a lot bigger. But I'm gonna go for smaller fish. I'm using this. This is four by four feet, four foot, six inches. It's a, it's like, just bigger than an ice rod uh, three pound test and uh, I'm gonna see what I can get with it I, I don't know if I can get anything with it it's like three pound test I don't know if I'm gonna bring anything up on the pier with it even small things I don't even know how, how heavy a weight I have to use for this type of fishing this is new to me just like it's new to everyone here so let's get started gonna go pick up my boy tank and you by, by dang, let's do it yeah <laughs> I'm here with my boy Shaw. This is what I'm using today. Are you? Man? Yes, yes, I like yes. This guy. <laughs> I like this. Yo, Tank, check out this rod I'm using for the for the show, man. It's real light at the top. I'm filming. <laughs> you got look. You need to try to get the fight. Yo. Hey, yo, Tank. Mad flip, right? Uh, first one, Yo, so how far down? How much you pay for that? Five minutes. How much you pay for that? Uh, 15 bucks. What? About a dicks. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right. It really is nice, man. All right, so this is the place. I've never fished here. I don't know what to expect. Tide's coming in. It looks really strong. I'm using very light line and very light weight. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stick to bottom, but we're gonna see, man. We're gonna see what we can do today. All right. It's probably gonna be mad snags, man. All right, people. So this is my first time fishing this spot. Wow, I cannot believe I haven't done this before. This is one beautiful, beautiful spot. I may have to hop a fence. Nah, I don't. I'm, I probably don't have to. That dude's over. There. Nah, we can still we can chill right here. Actually, we can go over there because it's it's more of a drop. Safe over here? Yeah, let's go to the playground right there. Yeah, so. All right, I really don't have that much time, so I'm trying to do this as quick as I can. Just gonna open this up. Gonna do basically a drop shot rig, I guess. <laughs> but if I can just get this thing open without without spilling out all the contents, I could I could just edit all this out. Yeah, you got a blade or a key on you or anything? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, my man coming through <laughs> with the goodies. <laughs> but it's not for fishing. But it's worth it. It is. Thank you, thank you. So this is what I'm using very small weight very small hook very small fish or maybe a nice fish oh you don't got the um the piece with the hook on piece no i don't got i don't got any of that yeah i blame jersey <laughs> sorry jersey all right so then Everything's gonna be to the main line. Clinch not the weight. Look, if it gets, if it gets stuck, it gets stuck. I'm bre it's breaking off. It looks like there's a lot of snaggy stuff out here. A lot of things you could break your line off, and I only got one pole with like three pound test on it. 
All right, so grab that, make that, make that happen. Let me give it a hook. Yeah, the buoy. That's it's only like fifty yards out. Not even probably not even fifty yards out. It's deep. I don't know, man. That's what I'm here to find out. So we're gonna take a line. I don't know if you could see that. Make that. Push that through. It's like a regular Palomar knot. Loop. Oh, wait, hold on. It's hard with thinner line. There we go. <laughs> uh, that's got to be a drop. I'm probably going to be putting SpongeBob in this now. I think I have to. There we go. And then all I do is I pull that tight. Ah, that rhymes. <laughs> so then we have all that going on. Let's bait up, cast out, see what happens. All right, I really don't have that much time, so I'm trying to do this as quick as I can. Just gonna open this up. Gonna do basically a drop shot rig, I guess. <laughs> but if I can just get this thing open without without spilling out all the contents. I could I could just edit all this out. Yeah, you got a blade or a key on you or anything? Mm. Oh, oh my man coming through <laughs> with the goodies. <laughs> But it's not for fishing. <laughs> but it's worth it. It is. Thank you, thank you. So this is what I'm using. Very small weight. Very small hook. Very small fish. Or maybe a nice fish. Oh, you don't got the, um, the piece with the hook on the piece? No, I don't got, I don't got any of that. Yeah, I blame Jersey. <laughs> Sorry, Jersey. All right, so then everything's gonna be to the main line. Clinch not the weight. Look, if it gets, if it gets stuck, it gets stuck. I'm br it's breaking off. But it looks like there's a lot of snaggy stuff out here. A lot of things you could break your line off, and I only got one pole with like three pound test on it. All right, so grab that, make that, make that happen. Let me give it a hook. Yeah, the buoy. That's it's only like fifty yards out. Not even probably not even fifty yards out. It's deep. I don't know, man. That's what I'm here to find out. So we're gonna take a line. I don't know if you could see that. Make that. Push that through. It's like a regular Palomar knot. Loop. 
Oh, wait, hold on. It's hard with thinner line. There we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's got to be a drop. I'm probably going to be putting SpongeBob in this now. I think I have to. There we go. And then all I do is I pull that tight. Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> so then we have all that going on. Let's bait up, cash out, see what happens. All right, so this is cash number one. Let's see what happens. Make sure everything's straight. I don't even know where that landed. <laughs> What's going on with this reel? Okay, let's see what happens. Be back with more. So Tank, man, tell me, what got you into fishing, man? Man, I'm Caribbean. You're Caribbean, you're Caribbean. It's in my blood, man, in my jeans. It's in your blood, in your jeans. Who started you out? My pops. Your pops? Tell me about that. When, what was the first trip you could remember? We used to go, we used to go on this mountain, and it leads down to, a, to the back of the, uh, the ocean. Mm -hmm. It's like this little, this little uh, pit for fishing. So I was like fishing there, but not with the rod, but with our hands. Mm, with your hands, what was some of the things you would catch? Uh, we had, what you call them, parrot fish? We had parrot. What else? I can't hear you. Shut up, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. This thing, the uh, microphone, had, this thing is we had, trash. We had parrot fish. Uh, what, what's the name? We had lobsters, little blue fish, mm. uh, red snappers. What else? We had all kinds, man. That sounds really nice, man. Plus, it had to be so, like, just pretty. You know, this is nice, but clear, I, clear blue. You see, like the little, you can see your toes, man. Mm. You know what I mean? that, that's why I love fishing, bro. Yeah, anyone who's very relaxing. Yes, very relaxing. Yeah. Anyone who's been been fishing in the Caribbean knows exactly what Tank is talking about, man. It's just, it's a nice experience. A plethora of different species to catch. You really can't beat it. Oh, wait, hold on, was that a bite? Is that a bite? Nah, nothing. It's just it's the it's it's the current. I definitely want to come here and if I can put out like like four different rods with four different baits and see what's out here and like just to get like get a survey of what, what we could do. Hello. You know, that's probably gonna be next year though. That's a good question. I'm in a few uh, fishing groups on Facebook. I'm definitely going to ask and find out. Oh, what the? Hold on. What's going on? I'm just getting pulled right now by a uh, current. All right. We'll be back with more. Yeah. All right. So I'm snagged on a rock, and I'm not trying to break this pole. And we're running at a, at a light. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I might have to call it for the night. You know, I'll try to see what I could make out of this. Just, just, uh, I could salvage something, I guess. But I'm gonna break this off and I'm gonna head out. 
see what I could do. All right, thanks for joining me on uh, Iron Giant Fishing, and and uh, yeah, <laughs> here's to a here's to a better time out next time. You know what I mean? All right, so I really wasn't able to put anything together today. Um, didn't have a lot of time to fish, but it was a wonderful experience. It's a brand new spot. Uh, it's a beautiful park. Nani? <laughs> My figure was in the way. Do it over, do it over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, well, um, really couldn't do much today. Had a bunch of different things working against me. Strong tide, lack of time, and lack of light. Those three things are making me cut it short. But, you know, this place is very promising. There's a lot of structure. There's a lot of things that I do like that maybe in the summer are going to come around and have a different strategy to attack this place and maybe be very successful in doing so. Cut off. So, <laughs> cut off? No, 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 no. It's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, it's just, it just turns blank. <laughs> it's still filming. I do that. It's still filming. I do that. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. I'm keeping that in. So, yeah, you know what? This is the beauty of fishing. It's, it's, it's a time out with your friends. Exploring new places, trying to catch the fish, but you're not guaranteed to catch the fish. So, you gotta take everything with a grain of salt and just keep getting out there and keep doing what you love. And really, that's about that. Iron John fishing out.